I was recently asked a question about what's the benefits of customizing your LinkedIn profile URL. Now, if you're wondering what that is, that is the um, URL that's the link to your personal profile on LinkedIn. So up here, you can see mine is www.linkedin.com slash IN slash Judith Parsons. Now, when you create a LinkedIn account, LinkedIn automatically uh, assigns a URL to your profile, and it will usually be your first name, dash your last name, dash a series of numbers. Now, the benefit for me of actually customizing it is that, as I've done here with Judith Parsons, is that um, it then makes it easy for you to add to your business cards, any other stationery you may have, you know, handouts, um, you know, mailing, emails, not emails, what am I talking about? But, you know, any sort of cards or anything that you might hand out marketing wise. Um, it's really good to them. You can put your LinkedIn URL in there alongside your website, for example. Um, it just looks better. So you find it basically under your contact information here. So it just looks better because there's my uh, LinkedIn profile URL there. So it just generally looks better in a lot of ways. So I always recommend that you do change it and it's good to try and get your name. And there's obviously with more and more people on LinkedIn, it's getting harder to get your name. So actually you could be quite clever because the thing is about your um, URL here, your LinkedIn profile URL, is that you could potentially put some keywords in there that can help you get found on Google as well as on uh, LinkedIn. So for example, Ruth here has changed her. So if I click on contact info, you can see that hers is the intuition connection. So Ruth is all about uh, intuition and helping people work with their intuition. And you can see that her URL is up here. If I just go on to Google, for example, as I've done here, if you were to put in the Google search, let's say you've met Ruth um, at a networking event and you couldn't quite remember her name or anything like that, and but you know that she did intuition or, or you knew that her name of the company was Intuition Connection. You know, you can go in and put Ruth and Intuition Connection in here and you can see that, I mean, luckily for Ruth, her, her own website comes up first, but actually here is her LinkedIn profile. So it does help you get found on Google by thinking about put what you put in your um, LinkedIn profile URL. So I think it's really, really beneficial to customize and change it. So let's talk about how you actually go about doing that. How do you change your LinkedIn? Okay, so how do you actually go in and change your LinkedIn profile URL? So what we need to do is from our LinkedIn profiles, can you see up here, it says edit public profile and URL. So we're gonna click on that. And when you go to uh, this window, basically it's telling you what people can see uh, from about your profile if they are not logged into LinkedIn. So basically everybody has a public LinkedIn profile and you can say or specify what people can see, whether they're logged into LinkedIn or whether they're not LinkedIn, logged into LinkedIn, should I say. So you can go in down here and edit visibility and decide how visible, visible you want your profile to be. Now I have mine pretty visible because I want people to be able to find me uh, if they're looking on Google uh, as well as on LinkedIn. I've hidden a couple of things like, you know, past experience, for example, and things like that. But every, mostly everything is pretty visible about me, regardless of whether people are logged into LinkedIn or not. Um, so you may want to have a look at that. Go and have a look at your public profile um, and, and see whether you how visible you want to be. Uh, but up here is edit your custom URL. So you can see I've got a little pencil icon here. And if I just click on that, just move me down a bit. If I just click on this pencil icon, in here, you can uh, put your custom URL. You can see it must contain three to 100 letters or numbers. Do not use spaces, symbols, or special characters. You can use dashes, that's quite good. But you know, I can't actually put LinkedIn in mine because LinkedIn doesn't allow it. But you know, maybe if you did do like intuition, you could put perhaps intuition in here, or you want to backspace over those numbers basically and put something, even if it's just your name, something other than uh, LinkedIn's sort of you know, um, generic uh, profile URL that they put in. So it's really easy to do. What you would do then is just click on save. If it's available, that name that you've given yourself or the URL that you've put in there, then it'll go green and it'll be accepted. If it's, if it's already taken, it'll come with a little red message and you may have to play around with it. But if you do customize it with something with a keyword, then it's highly likely that it's gonna be av uh, available.
Anyway, so let me know how you get on. Tell me if you do manage to change your LinkedIn profile URL.